So just talking about the um, about the night in '84, the team and, and all those kind of things. We, we talked about some some great legends of, of the game. You know, your Aussie Ardiles, Ricky Villa, and so on. But in that squad, there must have been some some other characters, some people that were that are really the mainstays and stuff. Some unsung heroes. Any kind of names come to come to mind? Stories you want to talk about those guys? To be honest, we, we were such a tight-knit group. And it wasn't just the, the first team. It was the youngsters underneath. Like, if you have a look in 1984, how many players never played in that cup final? Ray Clements, Glenn Oddle, yeah. Ozzy Ardenas came on side, Gary Mabbott, well, he played Gary Mabbott, so, um, Scarf Crooks, uh, Skipper, Stevie P. So you have five or six, I think there were six, I can't think of the other one. But, but at the end of it, the players that came in, you had Danny Thomas came in, you had, um, I'm trying to think now he played, uh, Chris Hewitt me, Paul Miller, Gary Stevens came in, played midfield, um, Tony Galvin was on the wing, uh, Ali Dick came on sub, you know, so Mark Falco up front, no Stevie Archibald, he, no, he played, no Garth Crooks. So there was everybody, but what we used to do was, when we played a game, if we played in Manchester, there was no flying back then, it was sort of on a coach, four hour journey, but as soon as we got back, everybody went to the local pub. <laughs> and we stayed there till two o'clock in the morning, <laughs> going through the game that we just played. <laughs> and that's what knitted us all together. I, I've got to admit, we did bring the wives to come and pick us up. But, <laughs> uh, but it was, that's, that's how we all became really good. And like, I played with Paul Miller. Everybody said I was hard. He was twice as hard as me. He used to you know, go at him in the tunnel. It was, he was mad. And, uh, but we, me and him, we knitted together. And, you know, there weren't many centre forwards like playing against us. Um, but that's, you know, that's the way it is. Um, characters, Ray Clements, God bless him, he, uh, he was a right. When he came, he brought the Liverpool winning mentality to us. Because we were we were winning cups and things like that, but he wanted to push us that little bit further, and it, it, it did. You know, we had one season. I think we went twelve games without conceding a goal, and that was all down to him. You know, so Keith Burkshaw made some great signings. Stevie Perriman, greatest captain Tottenham ever had, um, and it just sort of. Everything knitted together, and we always knew since when the 1981 we said if we get the first one, we'll get two, three, four, and we did. And this team today, they get that first one, the others are flat. Yeah. But we just got to get that first one. <laughs> That's the hardest fucking point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, if they get the first one, the rest of them will be easy. But it's the pressure of getting that first one. And we got it. And, you know, the characters in the team. We had eight captains in the team where they haven't got any captains. It's very hard at the moment to look who's the leader, who's going to take the, you know, the ball and who's going to run through brick walls. You don't see it. You don't see it at the moment. But I've got faith in them. I've got faith. I think they're, they're doing it. But we did have some characters, and then I can't tell you the dirty sto stories about them. But <laughs> there was a few when we went. Why not? Why not? <laughs> oh, taxi and filming. <laughs> See now, everyone wants everyone wants a dirty no, story. Not, yeah. right? everyone's, everyone's calling out. They want a dirty story. But I'll let you think about it before. I, uh, yeah. I, 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 I,